Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Gonro here with a guide. Well, he's one team comp for Golbez's event. I normally just write a guide in the description for these, but I'm going to see if I can keep doing voice recordings mainly for two reasons. Uh, the first one is that for whatever reason, uh, I can't really find a way to record like internal audio with whatever app I use. So you kind of just get silence, like no sound effects, no background music, nothing like that. And the second reason is that on my end, I usually write at least write a guide to go with these, but that takes me like 15 to 20 minutes. It's kind of a hassle, and I don't even include everything I want to. So hopefully if I do it like this, I'll be a little bit more thorough. I probably need to get used to doing this because, you know, I've never really done much recording of videos. And it doesn't help, I'm a little bit sick right now, but I guess that means I can only get better from here. Uh, I'm going to post the artifact descriptions down below. They're alright, I think. Like, you don't know, you don't need, like, best in slots with this team, so let's just start the fight. Okay, those two go first. Uh, I'm going to save seven skills for now. But it's okay if Edge uses his, he's got a lot. Okay, and I'm gonna use a Mog Dance on everybody here. Okay, take him out. I think these goblins have around 10,000 HP a piece, just so you know. Oh, I think I'm probably going to be able to avoid confusion this time. But even when you... Oh, it's 8,000. Okay. But even when you do get confused, it's definitely not like a run ender. It just kind of puts them into like auto battle, which isn't usually the worst debuff I've seen. It's not like they just like always HP attack or brave attack at the worst moments. Alright, but that's beside the point. Uh... Honestly, I don't even know if this mini boss has too many threats to worry about because it really doesn't do a whole lot by the time it actually goes. Yeah, because 7 is really fast. And Edge, Edge's shock has a high turn rate. So he's not really going to see too many turns, but yeah, you can start using 7 skills now. Just make sure to save at least three for the final boss because you want to get those three stacks of snake bite going. I'm just gonna use shock here. And now it has given itself some kind of buff. Probably just attack. Probably defense too, but not too big a deal. Eh, I'll just leave it to Edge. Yep, okay, it's really convenient because his brave attack usually gives enough battery to deal with waves like these. Yep. So, Imp's gone and the regen will definitely be enough for this guy. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so this is a real fight. Flawless. Kind of like the design. It's like two faces away from being a Bayonetta boss. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, to start applying these... Uh, I won't refresh it just yet. Okay. But let's see if Edge can sneak it. Okay, he can't. That's fine. Would have been nice, but he'll still be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and save the the snake bite skill to like. I'm gonna save it for situations in which he can cap it, which should be which shouldn't be too hard. Well, that one's AOE. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with Element Slash. 
Okay, she is fast. Yeah, I'll just have everybody brave attack here. And the reason why I didn't I wait on Mog Dance is because he can just dispel everybody. It's sort of annoying, but Edge kind of makes it a little bit less since he can just make make it target him exclusively. Which is a really handy skill in general. Like I'm not saying, you know, go out of your way to weapon tease like your weapon tokens on his like skills or whatever, but if you have him he's probably worth an awakening. Yep, I just missed him. And that's another AoE one. Okay. Uh, I think this will do it. Yep, okay, and she's out of those, but that's fine. She got the stacks in. Okay. He should still be fine, right? Yep, evasion up. That lasts two turns also, so that's another... Pretty cool, re pretty neat thing about him. Yep, okay. At least I got a lot of turns. And element slash. Uh. Okay, yeah, I should still be good. I got one here. I'm gonna hang on to the other one, but smoke screen. Okay, well, I guess I'm switching out seven this time. It's kind of a shame she has pretty good. Oh, there's this launch. Okay. Oh, that's definitely waste. Yep, we're still fine. I'll just use the last one here. And she's just out of skills. Yeah, again, not really a threat when he can't even hit it. Okay, still gonna wait for the Mog Dance. But now I'm gonna bring in Quistus. And I'm gonna start off with Homing Whip so she gets her framed buff. Okay, that's good. It triggered. Okay. And I'm going to summon now. And at this point, it's kind of just, uh, can you kill him fast enough now? Because you don't got to worry about him getting any more turns, thanks to Quistus. He doesn't have any skills that overflow, and I don't want him taking up turns. That has a little good amount of overflow. And even more delay. Okay, now I'll use a shock here. And a toy soldier. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think it's around like 57 turns I had with this team and I made the score. And this is one below that. And now we wait. Yeah, it's definitely good enough. Well, there's that team. Uh, there's no EXs, no themes, no... Yeah, no nothing. I might do another one of these, but... Uh... I'm not too sure. I think this is a somewhat accessible team. So that's it for me.